Today, we are going to talk about the key differences between our ASCO key cut and other jackets. And for this purpose, I am employing our Neapolitan jacket. And so for this exercise, I am employing both our friends here, Jimmy and Jorge, our permanent residents, or permanent mannequin residents here in Studio One. So let's get right into it. <music> What are the key differences between our Askoki cut and the Neapolitan cut? I'm going to start from the left. I'm going to start with the Neapolitan jacket. And just to qualify this, this is my jacket made by my Neapolitan tailor or prior Neapolitan tailor. It is a double-breasted coat, just a beautiful coat uh, made in linen by WBL. It's a tobacco linen. Now, the first thing you notice about the Neapolitan cut is it's sort of cut closer to the body. It's cut closer to the mannequin, as you can see. It's slightly shorter. You can see the length. For those of you who are true aficionados, you will notice that the dart, the front dart runs all the way from the chest all the way to the bottom of the coat or the hem of the coat. The lapels, of course, they're angled upwards. The gorge tends to be higher on the Neapolitan cut. Again, the chest is cut closer to the body. Again, there is a little bit of drape in the chest, but not so much. So it's a very, very lean cut, as most of you who are familiar with the Neapolitan uh, trade or Neapolitan tradition would, uh, with, uh, would agree. The shoulders typically for Neapolitan uh, cuts uh, shared what they call spalacamicia. However, in this instance, I insisted on roped shoulders, and that is why this jacket and many of my Neapolitan jackets for that point have roped shoulders. So that's a basic look, or that's the basic look of your Neapolitan uh, coat. Of course, you would see of course, the double speech stitching. These are all cosmetic, of course. Uh, they call it doppio in puntura which is sort of the double stitching that you see on the lapels, on the pockets, and so on and so forth. Now, we're going to juxtapose it to Jorge over here, which is our Askoki model for today. Jorge, as you can see here, has a lower gorge, slightly lower gorge. You could see what I mean. The gorge on our coat is slightly lower. It has a slightly longer collar. You can see that from here. The collar here, by comparison, is shorter. So we cut a slightly longer collar, which means the gorge is slightly lower, about sort of, I would say, classic height. This is a bit more contemporary, a bit more fashion forward. Starting from the top again, another thing you will notice is that the lapels or the gorge is less angled. Here, the lapels or the gorge is clearly angled upwards, whereas with our Askoki coat, the lapels are angled a bit more parallel. Not entirely, entirely parallel, but almost parallel, just about 10 degrees or so off the flat line, so to speak. You would also notice that the lapels on our Askoki coat are slightly broader as compared to the Neapolitan cut. That is also by design. The shoulders, you would notice, these mannequins are, very, are similar sized. They're both size 44. And you can notice that the shoulders are hanging slightly out on our Askoki coat. Why? Because the shoulders are slightly extended. Here you can see the shoulder sits flush on the mannequin. Here you can see the shoulders are somewhat drooping, and that is by design. These are both made for me, by the way. So these are my exact measurements, just a different cut. So you would notice a slightly extended shoulder on this coat at the top. The gorge, as we've mentioned, the longer collar, you know. Uh, the next key thing is the fuller chest. You will notice again how the chest on this coat literally almost hogs the mannequin. It's fitted against the mannequin. Whereas you will notice a bit more room here in the chest, on, on Jorge's chest. And the reason is because we cut a fuller chest. Easily demonstrable by the coat or in the coat I'm wearing. We cut a full chest, sort of, we weave or we baste a nice drape into the chest, which clearly is absent in the Neapolitan or continental cut. Going further down, 
the waist here is nipped. The waist is nipped here as well, so similar in feature. This is where we have the other key differences, the length. You can see quite clearly, standing here, that the Askoki coat is longer by a good inch, or perhaps even an inch and a half, than the Neapolitan cut. Again, that is by design, because our Askoki cut, especially the trousers, demand a longer coat. A fuller cut trouser, such as I'm wearing, demands a longer coat. And so our Askoki philosophy is based on the drape cut, and the philosophy insists or requires that the jacket has to marry the trousers perfectly. And so we cut the jacket slightly lo longer in order to marry the fullness or to pick up the fullness in the trousers. Whereas with the Neapolitan coat, trousers are typically slimmer, and so this is slightly shorter. So visually, these are the key differences between the Askoki cut, double-breasted cut, and a Neapolitan double-breasted jacket. Now, in the interest of completeness or for completeness, I'm going to, I'm going to also show you two single-breasted jackets. One is an Askoki single-breasted jacket, and the other is going to be a ne Neapolitan cut. And you will see sort of similar characteristics, albeit slightly different because these are single-breasted jackets. So I'm going to grab this here. That's a Neapolitan coat. And this is an Askoki coat. Again, similarly, you will see that the Askoki coat is slightly longer. Similar features, the gorge is slightly lower. The collar is longer. The chest is fuller. Shoulders, again, slightly more extended than in the Neapolitan cut. Of course, the Neapolitan cut is, uh, or this is a summer jacket, so it's unlined. This is equally a summer jacket, but we line all our jackets just to help with the drape. So again, very similar to the double-breasted. The features are very, very similar, or sort of the differences in features are very, very similar. However, these are... This is an example of a Neapolitan single-breasted coat and an Askoki single-breasted coat. This done in a three-row two configuration. I'll put this back. Now, let's get specifically into the Askoki coat. We're going to start with the fit and the comfort. I'm going to use Jorge here to my right, as I've done uh, on many occasions, to point out some of the key features of our Askoki cut uh, that make it more comfortable, at least in my opinion, than other uh, coats or other types of coats that I've, uh, that I've been uh, privileged to wear. The first thing you will notice is the high armhole. Here you can see it's very, very, it's almost imperceptible uh, from your television screen. You might not notice the difference, but standing here, I can see clearly that this has a higher armhole than that. So one of the key things we do is cut a very high armhole. And what a high armhole does, of course, is that it gives you that degree of freedom. It aids your mobility. So that is one of the key features of our Askoki coat here. You can see the armholes are cut very, very deep and high. Uh, this is quite an intricate art, being able to fit a large sleeve head. You can see the sleeve head here, quite large. We cut a full large sleeve head. Being able to fit this sleeve head into a small armhole is quite a fit. So, or a fit, F-E-A-T, not F-I-T. So one of the key features here is a high armhole, which facilitates mobility and, and comfort. Uh, the second, of course, is going to be the fuller chest, speaking about fit and comfort. The fuller chest, of course, gives you, allows you more room in the chest, and it's just generally more comfortable. Whereas a coat like this that is cut very, very close to the chest is going to be slightly more constricting. If it's cut well, it will fit properly, but it's certainly more constricting than 
are equivalent as Kohi coat. Uh, you can see from the coat I'm wearing, I'm very comfortable. There is no, there are no points of constriction. I can move around. I can dance in this jacket. Hell, I could even play golf in it uh, if I had to or if I were required to. So these are that. That's another key feature of the Askoki coat when it comes to comfort is the fullness in the chest and also sort of fullness through the body. And so the waist is knit. Yes, it's shaped in the waist, but because it's cut away from the body such as I'm wearing, you can see the shape clearly of the coat. The coat hasn't lost any of its shade, but I've got lots of room, acres of room in here, and lots of comfort uh, to move around. So that's the key thing when, you talk, when it comes to comfort. Uh, we're not talking stylistic issues here. We're just talking about comfort. So comfort, again, is in the armhole, it's in the chest, it's in the fit of the collar. You can see here, the collar is caught very high and hogs the neck. The Neapolitan collar, on the other hand, I mean, it's well fitted, but you can see the collar is not caught as high and it's slimmer. We caught a very high collar. You can see the difference here if I turn these mannequins around. You can clearly see the difference. This is caught slightly higher and it wraps around the neck. It hogs the neck, it wraps the neck, which provides that additional comfort and ensures that the jacket doesn't move around on you when you go about your daily tasks. I'll put these back. Now let's talk about the quality of construction. Um, this is a well-made coat. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's a well-made coat. It's all handmade. Collar is hand felt. Uh, lapels are hand, hand padded and so on and so forth. Uh, however, we're going to focus on our Askoki coat here. And I'm going to unbutton Jorge for a second. And I'm going to lift the collar slightly to talk about some of the more intricate details um, about the quality of our ASCO key coats. Uh, you may or may not be able to see this, but the lapels are clearly hand padded. And you can see it by sort of the stitches on the back of the lapel. The closer the proximity of the stitches, the more intricate the basting. And I, I can see from here where I'm standing, uh, your camera may or may not pick it up, but uh, the, the stitches are very, very intricate and very, very close, very, very closely stitched which is a mark of a well, properly well hand padded lapel. The collar similarly, you can see this is entirely hand felt. You can see it's all attached by hand. I turn it around. This is all hand detail. This is all hand work. This is fully, of course, the, the collar is canvassed. A canvas meaning sort of the collar has to be shaped and canvas so that it can stay or it can hug the neck when it's attached on the body of the coat. It's completely hand felt, uh, the collar. You can see the stitches there. Uh, these are all very asymmetric. This can't be done by a machine. We talk about the arm holes. Again, everything is hand done. It's hard to see it from here because of course uh, the jacket is lined. But in terms of the quality, uh, it's all hand done, the hand, uh, lapels are hand padded, uh, the collar is hand felt, uh, it's fully canvassed of course, uh, the canvas is what gives it the structure. The canvas starts right here at the top of the shoulder and goes all the way to the bottom of the front of the coat or the front quarter of the coat and it is this canvas that gives the coat this shape. Otherwise it's just a piece of cloth. It is a canvas, and in our case, we use horsehair canvas to give it this shape, to shape the coat, to give it this beautiful shape that you can see, uh, which, of course, the double-breasted jacket shares, but it's on a mannequin, so it's not so obvious. So in terms of construction, everything is entirely done by hand. The buttonholes, of course, are hand done. Um, everything, shanked buttons, um, the whole nine years, so to speak. So in terms of construction, this is on par with just about any garment you can get from anywhere. Uh, I could pull out the seams. These are very, very, very well done. Uh, you're not going to be able to sort of uh, rip this easily. These are very, very well done. This is all done by hand, of course. So all the joints, the shoulders, of course, 
sleeve head, everything is done entirely, entirely by hand. So that's about it um, for the construction. Um, of course, we're limited in how much we can actually show when it comes to the construction because to, to show the construction or to show the inner construction or the structure, we would have to actually take apart the garment or perhaps visit the workshop, which we've done in the past, uh, to show the process or sort of the unfinished garment when they're actually being tailored or being sewn. So for now, uh, it's just the visual representation of the construction, you can see the jackets or the coats are extremely well made, extremely well made. So that's, um, that covers the construction. We've talked about the features, so we talked about the differences in features, we talked about the key features of our ASCO key coat, and then we also talked about some of the key things to look out for when it comes to uh, the construction. So in conclusion, or in concluding this uh, presentation, I want to talk about what makes an ASCO key coat different. I want you to take a very, very good look at me and what I'm wearing. The Askoki look is a unique look. It's a unique cut. You won't find this anywhere else. You may have seen it in classic magazines, in Esquire magazines, in some sort of artifacts or in some vintage movies, uh, but it's just something you don't get anywhere today. And what we do is that we have recreated this look with a modern twist. Uh, for those who enjoy true classic proportions. Uh, you look at what I'm wearing, it's a longer coat, it's very comfortable, it's cut very full, and the, the trousers are very comfortable, of course, without losing any of its shape or elegance. And to us at Ask Oki, this is the meaning of true elegance. You know, your clothes should be cut away from the body. Most importantly, they ought to be functional. You need to be able to go about your daily activity in your clothes without being restricted or feeling restricted in those clothes. And that is what we focus on. We have a slogan, Askoki, engineered for movement. Our clothes are engineered to be lived in by the everyday man without losing any of the elegance that comes with a well-tailored garment. With that, uh, I am going to bring this uh, presentation, this short presentation to an end. Uh, of course, uh, you are welcome to try our products. Uh, we can be found on a myriad of uh, digital platforms, beginning with our website, www.askoki.com forward slash shop, where you will see, see uh, a broad range of our products, beginning from our jackets, our trousers and shirts, and so on and so forth. Uh, please do yourself a favor, go to the website, uh, look at the products, uh, also understand our digital bespoke process, uh, the first in the world, of course, to do this. Uh, but please go to the website and acquaint yourself, not only with the products, but also the process. Um, you're also welcome, of course, for those of you who do not already follow us on social media. Uh, we're permanent on Instagram, literally. I am permanently on Instagram answering questions, engaging the audience, teaching class, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, certainly, uh, no less important is our YouTube channel where this is being published or being aired. Our YouTube channel where we have a full library of all our videos beginning from early uh, 2016 when this was just my humble self uh, to early 2022 when Ask Oki was officially launched. Uh, there's just sort of a wealth of information on there. So take your time, go to the YouTube channel and go through all the videos. Don't forget to like the, the, and comment on the videos. Subscribe, of course. Follow us on Instagram, Ask Oki IG. Uh, Equally importantly, our Discord community, which is growing every day. Our Discord community is a user-generated community where like-minded people come together to talk about all things sartorial and other things as well that make life uh, very interesting. So with that, I bring this presentation to an end. I say thank you for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Ask Oki. Thank you.
and goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm.